You ever wondered how a Formula One steering wheel works, especially the modern ones? 40,000 pounds worth of carbon fibre and electronic componentry. This is Oliver Fairclough from the Lotus Electronics Department who's going to explain it to us. So, let's take us through. These, are these left hand ones here, they're quite interesting, aren't they? What's that? Okay, the rotary dials on the, on the front are for various map positions so the driver can adjust the behaviour of the car. Um, these three on the left are for the differential at the rear of the car so that you can adjust the balance of the car through the corners. So obviously we break that up into corner entry, middle of the corner and the corner exit. Uh, we've colour coded the dials for wet and dry settings and obviously if the driver has a bit of understeer for example going into the corner he would adjust the entry dial and obviously on exit he can adjust that. And they leave them set do they for the whole lap? Uh, he will probably play with it a few times during a session, perhaps as the tyres go off he may wish to adjust the balance of the car or if there's uh, been an aero, aero change in a pit stop he may wish to adjust it. So, so. Just, just stopping there, what, what, what changes do you make? So let's say you've got understeer, what, how would you change something on here? Well if you've got understeer you need to uh, open up the diff at the rear, uh, so you probably from a, from a higher position you'd probably slacken it off a bit Right. and obviously vice versa at the rear. This wing one, what's that all about? You're not supposed to ask me that one. <laughs> We've got the pit limiter button. Does he keep his finger on it all the time? No, or? it's just simply press it once and a series of lights go off on the dash to indicate to the driver that it's been turned on. And obviously as he crosses the line, as he leaves the pit lane, press it again to disengage it. Uh, we've got the neutral button. Uh, so obviously from first gear to neutral, he just simply presses that as he comes into the box. Uh, pit confirm, so when the driver's out on the circuit, we get the confirmation that he's going to come in, so we're all ready. Uh, the radio button, which is labelled talk, and obviously an LED so that he knows if he's left that open as he's driving around on track and we'll cut, just hear him driving around. Um, the blue button here, labelled SC, that's for the safety car. So um, if the safety car is deployed, um, there's a, a minimum lap time displayed on the dash and that's essentially an acknowledgement so that he can clear it and concentrate on other things. Uh, the drinks button, uh, so the driver can get a drink as he's going around, piped up to his helmet. We've BPF? Got, what's that mean? Sorry? BPF. That's, what BPF is bite point find. So um, essentially we can test the behaviour of the clutch before the clutch is needed at a race start, uh, preparing the surfaces of the clutch so that we've got a constant performance when we need to do a launch at the race start. We've got a tyre rotary here. So the, four, the three different tyres that we use, slicks, intermediates and wets, are colour coded and the final segment is just simply to turn the rear light on. And what does that actually do though? What is it? The positions that we have within each segment are for throttle maps. Oh wow. And then outside of that when you change tyres, the, for example the rolling radius of the tyre changes between slicks and wets so we need to compensate for the wheel speed otherwise the calculations go out for things like control of the differential and everything. So if he changes tyres in a pit stop he needs to remember to, to move to the other tyre position. Radio and these to start him. buttons at the bottom? Okay, so we've got, in the normal operation the toggles are down. Uh, when it comes to do a launch from the box or at a race start, the toggles have to go up. And what that does is it simplifies the control for the driver. Rather than turning a, a series of rotaries to get to the right position, he just flicks those down, which use presets just for the start. And then after one lap, he's allowed to, to move those back to the, the normal racing position. And the stuff on the back here, the obvious, is the exactly. gear Exactly, so we've got a quick quick release to uh, enable the steering wheel to come on and off to let the driver in and out of the car. Uh, we've got the two upper paddles are gear change up and gear change down. And then we've got two clutch paddles which do exactly the same thing, so it's driver preference which one's used. Uh, and usually at the start we use a combination of the two to provide him with a feel. If he starts to spin, does he grab that or is there an anti-stall function? There, there is an anti-stall function already programmed within the control systems on the car, but that will only keep the clutch disengaged for a certain amount of time. Right. So yeah, he does need to, to pull the clutch after a certain period, yeah. Thanks for showing us. No problem. Thanks.